Have you ever wondered how long would it take to travel across our own galaxy, the Milky Way? Imagine a celestial city teeming with countless stars, nebulae, black holes, and other cosmic phenomena. This is our Milky Way, a sprawling galactic metropolis that stretches across an estimated 100,000 light years. Yes, you heard it right, light years. It's a term that often pops up in science fiction, but what does it actually mean? Well, a light year is the distance that light, the fastest thing known to us, can travel in one year. And to give you some perspective, light can zip around our planet Earth seven and a half times in just one second. So when we say our galaxy is 100,000 light years wide, we're talking about a distance so immense it's almost impossible to comprehend. But don't be daunted, we're about to take this cosmic journey together. So, let's embark on an imaginary journey across the Milky Way. To give you an idea of the scale we're dealing with, consider this. Our Milky Way is about 100,000 light years in diameter. That's a number that's difficult to wrap our heads around, isn't it? So let's break it down. First, let's talk about what a light year actually is. It's not a measure of time, but rather a measure of distance. It's the distance that light, which moves at a staggering speed of about 186,000 miles per second, travels in a year. To put that into perspective, if you could travel at the speed of light, you could circumnavigate the Earth seven and a half times in just one second. When we start talking about distances within our galaxy, it's more helpful to measure in light years. Take our closest stellar neighbor, Proxima Centauri. It's just over four light years away. That means the light we see from Proxima Centauri today actually left that star more than four years ago. We're essentially looking at a snapshot of the past. Now let's go back to our Milky Way. At 100,000 light years across, it's an astronomical distance that's hard to fathom. If we were to scale it down, imagine the Milky Way as a city with a diameter of 100 miles. Using this scale, our solar system with all its planets would be less than the size of a single grain of sand. It's a vast, mind-boggling scale, and we've only talked about our own galaxy. There are billions more galaxies out there in the universe, each one with its own collection of stars, planets, and possibly life. So, you can see how immense our galaxy truly is. It's a reminder of our small yet significant place within the grand tapestry of the cosmos. We are but a speck on a grain of sand in a city-sized galaxy within an ever-expanding universe. Yet here we are, capable of understanding and exploring the wonders of this vast cosmic sea. But what does it mean to travel at the speed of light, you may ask? Well, let's dive into it. The speed of light is mind-bogglingly fast. It's about 670 million miles per hour. In layman's terms, if you were to travel at this speed, you could zip around the Earth over seven times in just one second. This speed, however, isn't just a random number. It's the ultimate speed limit of the universe. According to our current understanding of physics, nothing can exceed it. Not a snappy sports car, not even the most advanced spaceship. It's like the universe has set a cosmic speed limit sign saying, Hey you! Yes you! Slow down! Now let's put this into perspective. The Milky Way, our cosmic neighborhood, is roughly 100,000 light years across. That means even if you were traveling at the speed of light, it would still take you 100,000 years to cross it. So even at the speed of light, crossing the Milky Way is no small feat. So if we could travel at the speed of light, how long would it take to cross the Milky Way? Now that's a question that might lead us down a rabbit hole of cosmic proportions. But hey, let's dive in. Imagine, if you will, a cosmic highway stretching across the vastness of our galaxy. Now the speed limit on this highway is the speed of light, a blistering 186,000 miles per second. That's fast enough to circle the Earth seven and a half times in a single second. 
Impressive, right? But let's put that into perspective with the scale of the Milky Way. Our galaxy is approximately 100,000 light years across. A light year, as you might recall, is the distance light travels in a year. So, even at light speed, crossing the Milky Way from one edge to the other would take us, drumroll please, 100,000 years. That's longer than the entire history of Homo sapiens. We're talking about a journey that would span the lifetimes of over 1,000 generations. Just think about that for a moment. The implications are staggering. Even if we could develop technology to achieve light speed, the journey would present a host of other challenges. Time dilation, for instance, would mean that while 100,000 years passed in the galaxy around us, much less time might pass for those aboard the spaceship. We'd be venturing not just through space, but through time. And then there's the issue of energy. To propel a spaceship to the speed of light would require an astronomical amount of fuel. More than we currently have at our disposal, certainly. So, while we may dream of star hopping across the galaxy, the reality, at least for now, is that such a journey is beyond our reach. But who knows what the future might bring? After all, the universe is full of surprises. That's a lot of time, isn't it? And yet in the grand scheme of the cosmos, even a hundred thousand years is but a blink of an eye. Such is the mind-boggling scale of our Milky Way. But let's bring this back to reality. How do our current space travel capabilities measure up? At present, the fastest spacecraft humans have ever built is the Parker Solar Probe, launched by NASA back in 2018. This spacecraft reached a top speed of around 430,000 miles per hour. That's fast, right? Well, it might seem so, until we put it into perspective. Let's consider the Milky Way, our home galaxy, which is estimated to be about 100,000 light years in diameter. A light year, as some of you may know, is the distance that light travels in a year, which is roughly 6 trillion miles. So if you do the math, the Milky Way is about 600,000 trillion miles across. So let's do a little calculation here. If we were to take our fastest spacecraft, the Parker Solar Probe, and try to cross the Milky Way at its top speed, how long would it take? Well, if you take the total distance of the Milky Way and divide it by the speed of the Parker Solar Probe, you get a staggering number. It would take us approximately 780 billion years to cross our galaxy. That's over 50 times the age of the universe itself. To put it mildly, we're currently a bit short on the speed required for galactic travel. Our fastest spacecraft would need to be millions of times faster to make such a journey feasible within a human lifetime. The vastness of space is truly humbling, isn't it? But don't let this discourage you. Our understanding and technology are constantly evolving. Who knows what we'll be capable of a few centuries from now? Maybe we'll find a way to bend space and time, or discover a new form of propulsion that will make interstellar travel a reality. The future is full of possibilities. So. We're not quite ready to travel across the galaxy, but we're certainly not giving up just yet. As we can see, our galaxy is incomprehensibly large. This is not a mere statement of fact, it's a testament of our place in the cosmos. We are but a tiny speck in the grand scheme of the universe, residing in a galaxy that's over a hundred thousand light years in diameter. Let's revisit our journey. We began by provoking the thought, by challenging our perception of space and time. We delved into the sheer scale of the Milky Way, a celestial body so vast that it's hard to wrap our minds around it. We then ventured into the concept of the speed of light, the cosmic speed limit, if you will. Traveling at a speed of approximately 186,000 miles per second, light itself takes a significant amount of time to traverse the breadth of our galaxy. It's a humbling thought, isn't it? This led us to the daunting reality of just how much time it would take us with our current technology to travel across the Milky Way. Even at the speed of light, it would take us a staggering 100,000 years to cross from one end of the galaxy 
to the other. Then we face the reality of space travel, the triumphs and tribulations that come with journeying through the cosmos. The vast distances, the inhospitable conditions, the isolation, it's not an adventure for the faint-hearted. But why do we bother understanding this scale, you may ask? The answer is simple. It helps us appreciate our existence, our planet, and the urgent need to explore and understand our universe. The more we know about our galaxy, the more we realize the importance of our home, Earth. So, as we wrap up this cosmic journey, remember this. Our understanding of the universe is always expanding, just like the universe itself. The Milky Way, our galactic home, is a testament to the vastness of the cosmos and our place within it. Next time you look up at the night sky, remember just how vast our home in the universe truly is. Have you ever wondered what secrets the Milky Way, our very own galaxy, holds within its spiraling arms? We begin our journey not from the center, but from a familiar place, our solar system, located in one of the outer arms of the Milky Way. We are but one small part of this vast cosmic dance, a galaxy that is home to a staggering 100 billion stars. Imagine, if you will, the sheer scale of our galaxy. Picture a dot, that's our sun, a single star among billions, ensconced within the Orion Cygnus arm of the Milky Way. This arm, one of the several that spiral out from the galaxy's core, is a bustling neighborhood of stars, gas, and dust, stretching over 10,000 light years. The Milky Way is a treasure trove of celestial wonders, nebulas, glorious clouds of gas and dust where stars are born, star clusters glittering jewels of the night sky where thousands of stars live in close proximity, and the elusive black holes, regions of space where gravity is so strong, nothing can escape, not even light. But as we move closer to the center of the Milky Way, the star density increases. The heart of our galaxy, shrouded in interstellar dust and gas, is a place of mystery and intrigue. Here, stars orbit faster, and the pull of gravity is stronger. And at the very center lies the ultimate celestial enigma, a supermassive black hole. Named Sagittarius A Asterisk, this cosmic behemoth weighs in at four million times the mass of our sun. It's a place where the fabric of space and time twists and turns, a vortex of such intense gravity that it devours everything in its path. This supermassive black hole isn't just an exotic object, it's the engine that drives our galaxy, the cosmic anchor around which the entire Milky Way revolves. It is the heart of our celestial home, a place of darkness and mystery, yet also a symbol of the incredible complexity and beauty of the universe. At the heart of our galaxy lies a monster, a supermassive black hole named Sagittarius, a asterisk, around which the entire galaxy revolves. But what lies at the edges of the Milky Way, far from the bustling center and the familiarity of our solar system? As we venture to the outskirts of our galactic home, we enter a realm where stars are sparse and the swirling dust and gas that fill the space between them grows thinner. This is a place of quiet calm, where the cacophony of the galaxy's inner workings fades to a serene silence. Here, the stars are scattered like distant lanterns, their faint glow a testament to their great distance from us. Yet despite the solitude, these outer regions are not lifeless. The cosmic dust that drifts between these lonely stars is a cradle for new stars, a reminder that even in the emptiest corners of space, the cycle of birth and death continues. In these outer reaches, we also find the dwarf galaxies that orbit the Milky Way. These are the remnants of our galaxy's violent past, the last survivors of cosmic collisions that shaped the Milky Way into what we see today. They are like ghosts, haunting the edges of our galaxy, a silent reminder of the tumultuous history of our galactic home. 
But perhaps the most intriguing aspect of the Milky Way's outer regions is the halo of dark matter that envelops the galaxy. This invisible, mysterious force is like a cosmic glue holding the galaxy together. It's a force we can't see or touch, but its effects are undeniable. Without it, our galaxy would fly apart, its stars scattered across the universe. The outer reaches of the Milky Way are a place of stark beauty, a realm where the cosmic dance of stars and galaxies unfolds in slow motion. It's a place where we can glimpse the past, see the future, and marvel at the sheer scale and complexity of the universe. Even at its edges, the Milky Way is a marvel, a testament to the wonder and complexity of the universe. So, what does the future hold for our Milky Way? Well, like any other star system, our galaxy is on a perpetual journey of evolution. Stars, those glittering diamonds in the night sky, are born from clouds of dust and gas, living out their lives in a radiant blaze of glory. Eventually, they meet their fate, collapsing in spectacular supernovae or fading out as white dwarfs. But the Milky Way isn't just about stars coming and going. Its future holds something much more dramatic. Billions of years from now, our galaxy is set to collide with the Andromeda Galaxy. Don't worry though, this isn't a cataclysmic crash. Instead, it's a cosmic dance, a ballet of gravity that will eventually create an entirely new galaxy. Though we may not be around to witness it, the Milky Way's journey is far from over. It will continue to evolve and change, just as it has for billions of years, a constant reminder of the dynamic, ever-changing universe in which we live.